it's a privilege to do what I'm doing. Like, I don't feel like I'm entitled to anything. So I don't take nothing for granted. Every time I go in the gym, I go hard. Every time I go in the weight room, I go hard. One thing I just know about myself is I'm just gonna compete and work hard. My boy Ricky already here. Ricky always on time. I'm honestly just trying to work as hard as I can, you know, prepare for what I have ahead of me in my career. I've decided to, you know, forego my two years of college and pursue my dreams with the NBA draft. This is my profession now, so I'm doing it as a job. So every day I'm working, working, just working, you know, just like my mom get up and work, I gotta get up and go to work. So I'm taking everything seriously, being punctual, being on time. It's time to work. Right now we at Lifetime, Cleveland, Ohio. About to get my first workout in the, the day. It's been good, this pre-draft process today. I'm working out with Rob Shanahan. You know, it's pushing me every day. I feel like I'm ready to come out right now and take this next step in my career just because I feel like I'm more ready mentally and maturely, as so is my game. Of course, you know, there's holes in my game, just like there's any holes in everybody's game. But, you know, I'm willing to work on it. I'm mature enough to, you know, recognize what I need to work on and give it 110% every day and work on it, get better at my strengths. I'm mature enough to learn off the court. I feel like I'm ready, you know, for the next step of my career. And that's why, you know, I made the decision to come out. Nice. Good rep. For the work. Last one. Good work, good work. Rob McClanahan, just you know, here working with Tone, you know, getting ready for the draft workouts. You know, trying to improve, you know, every day on not only his strengths, but you know, what he really needs to improve on. I don't know where he'll go in the draft. I mean, I, obviously, I don't think anyone really knows that yet until he does his team workouts. He's a very good all-around player as far as off the dribble, off the catch. You can post up. You know, he's long, he's athletic, he's got a nice little mid-range game, nice floater. Uh, you know, so he's very versatile. He's really good at a lot of things, which really makes a good NBA player. It's only April, so he's got time to really improve the next two months and get ready for these team workouts. Good, sell it. Yeah, like that, yep, good. Good move. Good work, two more. Good, good, snap. Nice. Good, two, yep. Let's go in three. Nice, good space. Good, good set. Other way. Left to right, come back left. Good, snap. Good. One. Good work, good work. Snap. Nice, good. Yep, two. Game winner. Working out with Rob is good. You know, every day I get to work with him, I learn something. You know, he's worked with some of the best players in the NBA with Russell Westbrook, Jeff Curry, Courtney Lee, D Wade, you know, all these guys, you know, that he's, he's worked out. So for him to, be able to, you know, come show me some of the things he shows those guys because that's ultimately where I'm trying to be, you know, one day, you know, one of the best players in the NBA and stuff like that. I know my route's going to be different than everybody else's. That's why every day I go to work, I just think about me and I worry about being the best I can be. I don't worry about nobody else because I know my route's going to be different and I'm fine with that. Four. Nice, nice, Tom. Five. Six. Up and back jog. Here we go. Up and back. Good work. The reason I wake up every day and work so hard and give it my all is because I love the game. You know, I'm chasing a dream. I'm not chasing the money or chasing the bag. You know, I hear people saying, secure the bag or chase the bag or go get the bag, you know, all the time. And, you know, that's cool and all, but I don't even look at it like that. Like, I'm chasing a dream. This is my dream. You know, every day I play, I have that little feeling inside of me that when I, the same feeling I had when I was young, you know, just having fun. My mom used to always tell me, go out there and just have fun. You know, no matter what, win or lose, just go out there and have fun, that feeling. So I always had that feeling inside of me. Of course, you know, every level you go up is more of a business. Yes, of course, but, you know, I still had that feeling, you know, so I'm not doing it for the money. I'll be doing this even if it was for free. I would still, you know, give it my all and work hard to get better because this is what I love to do. 
you know, the money and all that stuff is just a plus. Playing on TV and being in the NBA, all that stuff is, you know, just a plus. I do this stuff because I love to do it. You know, it's, I, love, I really love the game and I never would take the game for granted. Let's go all left hand to the elbow. As fast as you can go now. It's very challenging working out with him because he's pushing you to your limit. You know, he's pushing you to your limit. It's good for me because I'm trying to be in the best shape that I could be. You know, going at it, going at it. Back and forth, full speed, game speed moves, game speed reps and stuff like that. It's been big for me, you know, having him because I can pick his brain and ask him questions and stuff like that because he's been with the guys that I'm trying to get to. You know, I'm trying to have a long career in the NBA, not just get drafted, but have a long career in the NBA, be able to come in and make a mark in the league. I know it's not going to be easy. I know coming in, it's not going to be peaches and cream. You know, you may have to go to the D-League some. You may have to, you know, sit on a bench. All that stuff comes into play. Everybody has it. It's not peaches and cream for everybody. It's something that I'm getting ready for and something I think I'm mentally prepared to do. Huh. Huh. Yep. One, good. Two more. Yep, two. Last one. And one. This game made me the person I am today. You know, I've learned a lot. I don't think I'll be at this spot in my life right now if it wasn't for basketball. I would never take that for granted. You know, God has blessed me you know, with the talent and the worth ethic. Every time now, two more. You know, he's been here for about a month and in the gym every day. Most of the time he's in the gym three, four times a day because he's probably the hardest worker I've ever been around. Working on a lot of, you know, making sure that, that he's ready to shoot the NBA line three and, uh, you know, getting his spots on the floor that he can, he can get to with his athleticism. So those are the main things he's been working on, just not just today, but every day. Being in the best shape of his life, that's the main thing. You know, you want to go into these team workouts and, and not be tired. Not only that, but he'll probably have a lot of workouts, so you have to be prepared for a lot of flights, a lot of, you know, maybe back-to-back -back workouts in different cities. It can be a grind. I think the main thing, besides the improvement in his skills, is just being in the best shape of his life. I think he'll reach his potential. It's just a matter of being consistent in, in the things he does. College and NBA is almost a different sport, to be honest. You know, that transition is sometimes tough for guys, and really everybody. Just learning to really play at a slower pace, playing with a lot of space, you know, and improving his range is, is going to be a key factor. With I like big guards, and he's a big guard. Long arms and athletic. Step back, sell it. Nice. Good. Well, that goes a long way in the NBA, not only on the offensive side, but really, you know, on the defensive side. I always say that, you know, live your life like a professional now. This is all well and good, but you got to do everything else from the eating, to the stretching, to the lifting, to the yoga, the proper sleep, and just making the right decisions is, is a, you know, main ingredient there. Great. Last two. Four. Game winner. Good. One. Two. One, two, one, two. Fast you can go. When I pass you the ball, catch shoot. Quick feet now, quick feet. NBA, same thing. Quick feet, quick feet. Come on. Work at it. Hands ready. Shot. Good. One. <laughs> one down. Good. Two. Shit. Three more. Yep. Three. Good. Pass I run, you know, from Derrick Rose, Kevin Love, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Al Horford, Steph Curry, and John Wall. Uh, so I've seen a lot of guys, you know, grow. And there's one thing that's really relates all them is just the hard work, you know, on and off the court. That's what I want. Yeah. Four makes. Good. Same thing. You want to sell the drive. <laughs> nice. Good. Two. Two more. Good. Sell it. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Three. One more. Good. Sell me. Good. Hey. <laughs> nice. Go left. Left right now. Right. Well, one thing I've always been good at, and I think college helped me with it a lot, is when I get tired trying to like push through fatigue, to push through fatigue. So when I feel myself getting tired, I just push. Like I try to like take it to another level when I get tired because I know that's, you know, that's when I'm getting better right there. You know, when I'm tired, feel like I ain't got no more, that's when I give it all I got. Just go hard. That's, that's, that's the time I'm getting better. That's me getting better right there all day. One more, we go. Two. Yep. Three. 
Three. Four. Game winner. Right, four. Shot. Five. Same thing, mid-range. Yep. Shot. One. Two. Three. Yep. Four. Finish. Five, good. All right, in the corner. It's the NBA now. You're gonna go shot there. Then you're gonna sprint the perimeter to the top. So kind of all the way to the top. And then sprint to the corner, shot, sprint to the top. Boom, keep going. Got eight makes. Here we go. Eight makes. Get it. Sprint. Good. Top. Two. Good work. Good work. Three. Four, halfway there, good work. Five, yep. Three more. Six. Not taking it for granted, still getting up shots every day, working on the NBA line, making sure, you know, I get getting the ball up, getting my shot up so I'm not short and stuff like that. Never trying to miss short if anything, miss long. Shooting off the dribble has always been a strength of mine, so, but just still, you know, getting that in as well, you know, shooting the ball off the dribble, even though that's always been a strength for me. But right now, I'm just trying to work on taking good shots, certain shots in the league I know you can't take. So we're just working on the simple things, you know, one, two dribble pull up, because you're not going to get multiple, multiple, multiple dribbles when you're in the league. So just fine tuning my game, you know, making the game simple and stuff like that. And that's what we're doing. Yep. Last two. Game winner. Shit, free throws. What a shooter. To work tomorrow, right? big thing in this process for me is just trying to use my athleticism, show my athleticism in every way, shape, or form, you know, on the defense end and, and the offense end, whatever the case may be, using my athleticism all the time. There we go. I know. The defense is going to be very important for me transferring to the league. You know, I'm a six four and a half guard, so I'm going to have to really be able to guard multiple positions and stuff like that. And it's something that I work on all the time. And I also, you know, work on my defense off the court, watching film on guys like Gary Harris, Avery Bradley, and guys that really get out there like Patrick Beverly. Making this the next level of me is going to be most of the part defense because I know I can score the ball and people know I can score the ball, so I got to go out there and just, you know, show that effort. That big thing is effort and using my abilities to, you know, play defense and become the best defender that I possibly can be. Yes.
just watching a lot of film, watching guys like Avery Bradley and people that really take that, you know, into the floor just as serious or not more seriously than the offensive end. So it's a lot of film work, it's a lot of, you know, comprehension of different calls and different reads and, and studying. But he's been embracing that. He, he knows that he has the opportunity to be a two-way player and, and that's what he needs to be. We're pulling up some of Avery Bradley's clips on defending pick and roll. How he fights through screens, gets over screens. That's something Tone has the length and the athleticism to do. You might see two, three ball screens in one possession in the NBA, and depending on the personnel you're guarding, you have to defend it different ways. So you have to be very locked in mentally. It's not just about giving effort, which obviously defense starts with that. Tone gives the effort. It's just about continuing to get a better understanding of what he's trying to do. So Avery forced to see how he moved his feet, forced him to ice, did a good job jumping the ice real quick. And there you see how he's forcing him. He's weakening it, made him go to his left hand, which he obviously he's not going to finish as well to his left. But it's not just about doing that one possession. You got to do that every single possession. Just does a great job. Like in the NBA, it's all about sending the ball where you directing the ball where you need to direct it. And Avery's elite at that. You know, most young players struggle with that. But we want Tone to come in and be ready to make an impact defensively as soon as he can. I think like what you can take away from Avery is it's so hard to screen him. I mean, even if you're noticing this, even if he maybe messes up a coverage, like he's fighting through every screen. You have to be able to get over pick and roll in the league. And I think with Tone's length, athleticism, toughness, competitiveness, he can hold himself to that standard. So we're trying to speed up the learning curve for him. So it's not like, okay, my third year in the league, I get defense. Like, no, we want to come in right away, understanding that he's got to play both ends and be really good on both ends. Now I'm about to go lift weights with my man Carl, my you know, ATP, we lift over here five days out of the week, so see what the day got in store. But it's always a good workout, you know, he's helping us get stronger, faster, and more athletic and stuff like that. Tone's definitely one of the hardest working athletes I've worked with. He's always laser focused in, pays attention to detail in terms of the stretching, the diet, all, all the little intangibles that you need to make it to the next level. Tone takes very seriously, very professionally. He's made huge gains in terms of strength. We've gotten his weight up. The work. Big chest, butt out, back straight, push to the floor. Nice, just warming it up, baby. Never will take this game for granted. You know, never take it lightly because it does good things for people, you know, and it, does, it has done great things for me, and I just wanted to keep blessing me and God's blessed me, you know, with the talent and the work that they think my work that separates me from a lot of people. I'm gonna work on everything. I'm gonna work all day, you know, every day. I'm just working as hard as I can. I know a lot of kids look up to me, you know, in my city, just because, you know, there's not a lot of guys, you know, from Sarasota who's made it to the NBA. Actually, there's none who's made it to the NBA out of Sarasota, you know, and not taking the, nothing away from those guys, because like guys like Neil Polonis and Gary Clark, those guys were great players, but sometimes, you know, guys from my city may be overlooked or whatever, just because everybody knows kids in New York can play basketball, they can handle the ball and stuff. But like, people don't really look at Sarasota. Sometimes I'm just talking to a random person, they'll be like, where you from? I'll be like, I'm Sarasota, Florida. People be like, what? Like, where is that? And I gotta be like, you know, it's by Tampa. And they'll be like, oh, okay, I know where that's at. That's why right now I'm just doing everything you know, to my family and from my city. I'm trying to like put my city on the map, you know. When the next kid come up and be like, yeah, I'm from Sarasota. They'll be like, oh, that's where Antonio Blatney was from. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I think that's big. That tabletop in the back. Yeah, just stay low, whatever number cone I call, you go to that cone. We're going 10 seconds, here we go. Ready, three, quick, stay low, stay low, touch and go. Two, come on, touch and go, quick, come on. One, one, two. Let's get it, let's get it, come on, come on, quick. Stay low and go, stay low and go, three. Quick, come on, come on, Tone. Three, let's work, let's work. Two, three, let's get it. Come on, touch and go. Two, let's work. Come on, four, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Come on, two, come on, attack those cones, get low. Two, let's work, come on. Three, let's work, Tone. One, one, come on, one, three. Come on, touch and go. Two, let's work, touch it. Let's get it, come on, four. Go the distance, yep. One. Ready, two. Come on, quick, stay low. One, two, let's get it, come on, three. Come on, work, work, work. Let's get it, let's get it, two. One. Oh yeah, good work, good work. It's hard work right there, man, that's the real work. 
Playing in middle school, I never thought that I'll be getting a D1 scholarship or trying to make it to the NBA. And now I look at this, you know, of course, as my job, even though I just play for the love of the game, but it's my profession now, you know, to be a professional and work out, eat right, you know, take care of my body and stuff like that. You know, that's all big and it's all part of the process. And right now, you know, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the process. You know, the process is treating me well. You know, of course, it's ups and downs every day. It's hard workouts. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that where you gotta just push through. But all that stuff is gonna make me the man I, I wanna become to be, you know? I feel like I'm far away from where I wanna be, and that's good, you know? I think I have a lot of potential, a lot of potential that I, I can seek. So that's why I'm just working hard to try to get there. Working hard to try to get there. I wanna be one of the, I wanna be one of the best players in the NBA one day. I wanna play in the NBA for a long time. And I know, you know, my paths in the NBA it's not going to be sweet, you know, it's going to be ups and downs. It's going to be times where I'm on a bench for 30 games straight or I'm in a D league or whatever the case may be. I'm ready to work through that, you know, I'm ready to do whatever it takes to be successful in the NBA. And I'm ready to, you know, talk to the veterans every day and ask them, you know, how was your route? You know, what can I do, you know, to make my route, you know, go a little smoother and stuff like that. So learning from the vets, learning from the guys, you know, who's in the league now, learning from some rookies, you learning from everybody. I'm just, my main thing, I'm just trying to be a sponge through this process. I'm trying to learn from every team I go work out with. I'm trying to work, learn from every trainer I work with. I'm trying to learn from all the interns. I'm trying to learn everything I can learn so I can just have the most knowledge and just be prepared. Be prepared for the situations that I'm gonna be in not partying, not drinking, just taking this process very serious. I think my good energy and work ethic travels, you know, every day, you know, I'll just be one of those energy guys, you know, working extra, coming in early, leaving late, you know, trying to learn from all the veterans. You know, I'm a very humble guy. You know, I'm not gonna be like the big head rookie or nothing like that. I just wanna come in and learn from all the guys, you know, learn from my fellow rookies, learn from my veterans, learn from my two-year players, like learn from everybody, learn from all the coaches and the staff. I think I'm one of those teammates that'll do anything for my guys because like when I'm part of an organization and part of a team, you automatically look at that as family. You know, it's always been like that for me, playing with each one, teach one, playing with Oak Ridge and playing with LSU. All my teammates were always like brothers to me. So I'm sure it's gonna be like that at the next level, even though of course you're in the NBA, you know, some guys are 30, some guys are 22, some guys are 25. So the age different, you know, may change that up a little bit. But, you know, I think for the most part, you know, everybody still, you know, can be looked at as family and I'm, I'll am i be willing to do whatever for any of my teammates but the main thing is just go to war when I'm out there on the court. With all the NBA workouts and stuff, my mindset with those are just going in trying to learn from every from every team. You know, every team that I get to visit, they all you know may be different, some stuff may be the same, but trying to take something from each one and just learn as much as I can. Just be a sponge, be a sponge. And of course going in and work hard and give the best effort and compete, but just trying to take something from each workout and just learn, you know, be a sponge. So that's, if I learn something from every workout, I've been learning a lot at the end of this process. And that's, that's what matters, and I'll be better. You know, I'll be better from it. I'm not looking at the process as a game. It's, it's very serious to me, and I think it's gonna help me. You know, after every workout, I can look at what I learned and just keep working on it, take it to the next workout, and I learn something from there, and then just keep going. The next thing you know, you know, I know a lot more than I know now. Some things that I feel like I have to improve on to make it in the league is just like my total effort on defense. Just making sure I'm, you know, giving effort 24/7 all the time to, you know, become that two-way player that I want to become. I think I learned a lot, you know, in my two years at LSU. You know, I know they, they didn't end and go as well as planned. Kept me humble, you know. Just going back as a sophomore, you know, not going to the NBA, but going coming back as a sophomore. And I still love all the people at LSU and the fans and the coaches and the players. You know, I was around a great group of players, a great group of guys. Like that's, those guys are like my family. Coaches taught me a lot from, you know, Coach Jones, Coach Livingston, Coach Sher and stuff like that. And Coach Kirby was always hard on me. Good work, baby, good work. It's real work right there. All right, here we go, Tone, 25 seconds. Let's get it, ready, go. Yep, quick snaps, quick snaps. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let me move you. Come on, Tone, gotta want it, baby. This is where the money's made, right here, come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Five seconds left, let's rock. Five, four, three. Two, one, and done. Good work. Alternate. Small little waves. Get that rhythm. Get that rhythm going. Keep working. 
Breathe, breathe. Keep pushing, come on. Keep pushing, tone, keep tone, pushing, tone. You got it, baby. Five, four, push it. Three, two, one, and done. Good work. Core strength has gone through the roof. Increase his ability to react laterally. So when he gets out on the court, locked down on defense, be able to change directions and still be strong through those movements. Lower body strength and his, his ability to explode has just really improved. So these are definitely things that he's going to be taking to the next level in the NBA. Quick. Left. Let's get it. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Right. Yeah, left, right, let's get it, right, left, right, come on, push, 10 seconds left, 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 quick jab, quick step, yep, keep pushing, right, and that's it, good work, baby, that's real work, man, time to work, 15 yards, Tones, so you're going right to that rack up there, ready, go, drive the knees, come on, push through, let's work, let's work, Let's get it, come on. Let's work, let's work, come on. Five yards, dig, 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 come on. Let's go, Tone, dig into the ground, let's push. Come on, push, 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 let's work, let's work. Drive that knee into the ground, push, push. A couple things that I think will stick out for me, you know, that I can bring to the NBA team is, you know, my competitive nature and my work ethic. You know, me being competitive helped me a lot, you know, coming up, you know, because I wasn't always ranked high. I wasn't always, you know, one of the kids that was mostly talked about. So all that just gave me that competitive edge. It just made me work harder. You know, it's like that just leads on to my work ethic. I go in the gym working on all my weaknesses, my strengths, everything. Like, I just want to work. I just want to be the best that I can be. That's why I just work hard. I work hard every day, work hard every day. And I just see things happening. I just see myself getting better over time.